biggest Toyota Fortuner announcement of 2023. Owners won't believe their eyes. The Toyota Fortuner is a car that has established a storied reputation. It has earned a reputation for durability and is now a lot of people's preferred vehicle. Toyota produces a mid-sized sports utility vehicle called the Fortuner. Although it is based on the Toyota Helix, a well-liked pickup truck offered in several nations, it is primarily aimed at the Asian and Australian markets. The Fortuner is renowned for its dependability, toughness, and off-road prowess. Despite the lack of any competitors, Toyota has kept raising the prices of the Fortuner. What then can Toyota do? It might include some extra features. Let's discuss the features that the Toyota Fortuner will have in 2023. Even though the Toyota Fortuner features a modest 8.0-inch entertainment system, this is nothing in today's society. Even cars in categories 2 to 3 below the Fortuner come equipped with a 10-inch infotainment system. Toyota must therefore update the infotainment system in the Fortuner. A larger infotainment system would also improve the interior of a large vehicle. Its strong body and structure allow it to go across difficult terrain. Construction tires made for all terrains, a low-turn four-wheel drive system, high clearance suspension, and other characteristics are standard on the Fortuner to improve its off-road capabilities. Top-selling vehicles made by Toyota, the Fortuner SUV, is about to get the newest components and technologies from several nations. Thailand may serve as the location for the new SUV's model's introduction. The Toyota Fortuner in 2023 might get new body panels and considerable visual updates. A hybrid powertrain is among the many innovations, but one of the most significant updates is the replacement of the current IMV framework with the TNGAF platform. The all-new Toyota Innova High Cross will be constructed on a similar chassis and go on sale in early 2023. The Toyota Sequoia and Toyota Land Cruiser are two of the international SUVs made by Toyota that can have wheelbases between 2,850 and 4,180 millimeters. The manufacturer will be able to cut expenses and decrease payback periods thanks to the new location, which will also aid in achieving economies of scale. Rumor has it that the mild hybrid 8-liter 2.1 GDF TV diesel engine in the Fortuner has an integrated starter alternator. The new hybrid powertrain has allowed the SUV's price to be cheaper than it was previously. The regenerative braking system recovers kinetic energy during braking or deceleration in order to improve torque when accelerating. The brand new Toyota Fortuner, which will go on sale in 2023, will have many amenities that are miles ahead of what is currently available. For better driver assistance, the SUV is capable of having a lane departure warning system installed in the dashboard. Autonomous collision avoidance and variable cruising replace the current hydraulic flywheel with an electric drive unit. Add lane keeping assist, computer assisted emergency braking, and blind spot identification. For the cutting edge technology used by the Unova High Cross, the new TNGAF platform can serve as the core building block. Because it is utilized to build the Toyota and Lexus Land Cruiser and LX vehicles, this platform is unique. The new Fortuner also has vehicle stability control. Toyota will also unveil a fresh series of mild hybrid vehicles for the 2023 Fortuner. The new Fortuner is equipped with an alternator in this form, which helps with acceleration and provides assistance at low engine speeds. When one thinks of Toyota, modern conveniences are not the first thing that springs to mind. It works to refute that notion, and since the new Toyota High Cross exemplifies it, we believe the new Fortuner ought to be handled similarly. A large sunroof, a brand new appliance cluster, a 360-degree design, and phone projection are available options. Instead of stressing over whether it will be more expensive or less expensive than the modern version, as the Innova High Cross now understands that we can be one step ahead of a dash, and that we could wish to observe Toyota's expertise with the brand new Fortuner. Let's focus on the primary issue. Installing a mild hybrid can be expensive, but the automobile will push the load via the TNGAF platform before anything else. Toyota will also introduce a few new components in accordance with this version. The new Fortuner will receive a premium upgrade. Thailand will reportedly be the first country to offer the brand new Toyota Fortuner when it goes on sale in 2023. The Toyota Fortuner's cargo options vary depending on the trim level chosen, and last year's release saw a price hike from $49,000 to $62,945 for the vehicle. The cabin has been redesigned and is no longer opulent in the traditional sense, because this car is essentially an all-wheel drive SUV, but it does include a steering wheel with wood grain and leather accents throughout. The engine transmission specs for the various chassis types listed below take the version variant into account. The most recent Toyota Fortuner model sports 17-inch alloy wheels and a 3,100kg towing capacity, comes with LED headlights and daytime running lights, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Saturn Blue, Eclipse Black, Feverish Red, Graphite, and Glacier White make up the palette. The back of each of the Toyota Fortuner's seven seats may be folded down to the sides of the trunk and arranged any way you wish when they are all upright. 
The boot has a capacity of 200 liters. The second and third rows can be combined to create 1,080 liters of room, while the third row itself can extend to a capacity of 716 liters when folded down. According to SUV diesel requirements, only a few Toyota Fortuner variants and chassis models use diesel fuel. The vehicle will use 7.6 gallons of petrol for every 100 kilometers in its final year of manufacturing. The optimum tire size for SUVs will be 265-65 R17 by 2022, and the Toyota Fortuner has fantastic wheel and tire options. The trusty 2.8-liter diesel engine, which is prized for its 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque and can reach 100 kilometers per hour in roughly 10 seconds, is still used in the brand new Fortuner. A 48-volt mild hybrid vehicle, which would boost power at takeoff for better acceleration and make it simpler to cut emissions, might be the largest advancement. A lot of fuel is used. According to Rod Ferguson, District General Manager for Planning and Development, the pieces of Toyota's diesel-electric puzzle are starting to come together with the news that the 2023 model has been in the works since the year's end. Toyota even said to the media at the end of the year that the technology may be a solution for individuals who are specifically married to diesel, that it has actively examined the diesel-electric era for its historically diesel-powered variations. There are specific reasons not to reject any of these choices, thus we are carefully studying each one. Theoretically, they're all doable, and conversations about them are certainly still ongoing. But if we want to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions, we must be accountable for everything. Due to its lower cost or the fact that they reside in a region where certain types of gas are hard to come by, some farmers store diesel on their property. In addition to roadside costs, the base GX-GXL variants of the Fortuner's mid-range and flagship Crusade now cost $635, $735, and $1535 more, respectively. This demonstrates how pricey the Fortuner is as well. Toyota Australia redesigned the Fortuner by 2023 by introducing a new generation to the large SUV. Toyota Connected Services have undergone a big upgrade with the inclusion of the capacity to track a car in an emergency. The GX also received an illuminated lighting cluster, surround view, blind spot tracking, and rear visitor warning cameras in contrast to Crusade's rivals like the Isuzu MUX and Ford, which previously had a single area design. A vehicle with four-wheel drive, a rear differential lock, and a six-speed automatic transmission is coupled to the massive SUV. The four-cylinder turbo diesel engine in every Everest Mitsubishi Paro vehicle generate 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque. Toyota doesn't advertise its cutting-edge features very well. The mild hybrid 1GD FTV 2.8-liter engine will be employed in the Fortuner's diesel powertrain, according to an article posted on TopCarNews.com. It's possible that it will receive an Integrated Starter Generator, or ISG, which is already found in a number of Suzuki mild hybrid models that are already available. The only difference this time is the addition of a diesel engine. The ISG is also used by other cars, such as the Geely Akavengo. Most likely, the new mild hybrid diesel engine will be referred to as the GD Hybrid. Users should anticipate improved fuel economy and more torque when needed when it comes to main benefits. Increased mileage will result from a technology that starts and shuts the engine automatically. The kinetic energy produced during braking and deceleration can be converted into electrical energy by the mild hybrid diesel Fortuner. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest updates. And if you have any views regarding this video, tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.